welcome to my youtube channel first subscribe my channel and click the bell icon in this video you can learn physical and chemical changes what are physical changes changes in size and shape are physical changes here are some ways you can physically change a sheet of paper cutting tearing shredding folding painting writing on gluing a physical change can also take place when matter changes from one state to another state when a solid is melted a liquid is formed when a liquid is evaporated a gas is formed when a gas is condensed a liquid is formed when a liquid is solidified a solid is formed all these are physical changes that means change of state is a physical change the solid directly can converts into a gas this is called sublimation so sublimation also a physical change reverse sublimation also a physical change now we will see some examples crushing stones here lumps are converted into powder melting of wax solid state is converted into liquid state vaporization of water liquid converts into a gas condensation of water vapor into droplets gas converts into a liquid dissolving is a physical change when sodium chloride is dissolved in water sodium chloride solution is formed when the solution is evaporated sodium chloride can be obtained physical change substance may seem different but the way the atoms link up is the same chemical change changes the way the molecules link up makes new substances if it burns it's a chemical chain when fire would be burn chemical reaction is taken place carbon dioxide water is produced when a fire packer is blasted burning is taken place so it's a chemical change if temperature changes without heating or cooling it's a chemical change when an acid is added to a base temperature is increased there a chemical reaction is taken place a salt and water is formed so it's a chemical change it's a chemical change if it bubbles we'll get one example when you add sodium bicarbonate into acetic acid you can see bubbling so here a chemical change is taken place change in colors and forming precipitates are chemical changes when you add a piece of magnesium to a copper sulfate solution the color change is taken place when you add lead nitrate solution into a sodium chloride solution white precipitate is formed that is the lead chloride precipitate that's a chemical change Now we'll see some examples. 
burning firewood. When firewood is burned, formation of ash, liberation of gases occurs. Heating limestone. When limestone is heated, quick lime is formed. Carbon dioxide is evolved. Heating of potassium permanganate. When heating potassium permanganate, oxygen is liberated and other chemicals are formed. Trusting of iron. When iron get trust, trust is formed on the iron. Examples of chemical change. Burning of coal, burning of candle, trusting of metal, explosion of firecracker, decomposition of organic matter, ripening of fruits. Now we will discuss some chemical changes. Combustion. A rapid reaction between fuel and oxygen that result in fire. Gas, oil or coal burning in furnace. Electrolysis. Use of electricity to break a compound into its elements or simpler compounds. Example, breaking down water into oxygen and hydrogen. Oxidation. Slow combination of a substance with oxygen. Trusting of an iron fence is example for oxidation. Tarnishing. Slow combination of a bright metal with sulfur or another substance producing a dark coating on the metal. Example, tarnishing of brass. Difference between physical and chemical change. In a physical chain, change is temporary. Chemical chain, change is permanent. No new substance is formed in a physical chain. There is change only in physical properties. In a chemical chain, new substances are formed with entirely different physical and chemical properties. In a physical chain, Change can be reversed by simple physical methods. Chemical change cannot be reversed by simple physical methods. Physical change energy may or may not be released or absorbed. In a chemical change, energy is released or absorbed during chemical change. In a physical change, most of the time original form of the substance can be obtained easily by simple physical methods. In a chemical chain, the original substance cannot be obtained by simple physical methods. A following occasions, chemical or physical chain. Now refer to the given occasions and decide whether it is a physical change or chemical chain. First one, lighting a match. Here burning is taken place, so it's a chemical change. Melting chocolate. Solid chocolate converts into a liquid state, so it's a physical change. Third one, freezing water to make ice. Here liquid water converts into solid state, so it's a physical change. Frying an egg. Chemical change. Mixing paint to make new color. Chemical change. Now we'll discuss some questions. First one. Soured milk smells badly because bacteria have formed new substances in the milk. This is an example of physical change, chemical change. Here new substances have formed, so it's a chemical change. Second one, sand flowing in an hourglass is an example of chemical change, physical change. Here nothing happens to the 
chemical composition of sand. So it's a physical change. Now third question. The change of state from a gas to a liquid is an example of chemical change, physical change. Here, gas is converted into a liquid. Change of state is taken place, so it's a physical change. Fourth question. The melting of butter when it is let out in a warm room is an example of chemical change, physical change. Here also, solid butter converts into liquid, so it's a physical change. Question number five. Which of the following describes a chemical change? Water freezing, match burning, dew on grass, magnetizing a nail. Water freezing is a physical change. Match burning. Burning is taken place, so it's a chemical change. Dew on grass, physical change. Magnetizing a nail, also a physical change. Number six. An ice cream cone melting on hot day is an example of chemical change, physical change. Here, with the temperature, ice cream is melted, converted into the liquid form. So it's a physical change. Now you all can differentiate physical changes and chemical changes. A physical change is a change in size, shape, state or appearance of matter. A chemical change causes matter to become a new kind of matter. Now we'll find out about chemical reactions. One of the following can happen during a chemical reaction. Formation of new substance by the combination of two or more substances. Turning one substance into two or more substances. Recognition of initial substances to form new substances. The substances taking part in a chemical change are called the reactants. The new substances produced by a chemical changes are known as the products. During a chemical reaction, reactants turn into products. Now refer to this example. Magnesium reacts with hydrochloric acid and form magnesium chloride and hydrogen. Magnesium is in solid state. Hydrochloric acid is in liquid state. Here the magnesium and Hydrochloric acid are the reactants. Magnesium chloride and hydrogen are the products. Now you have learned physical changes, chemical changes and the pattern of a chemical reaction. That is the end of the lesson. Subscribe my channel and click the bell icon to get the next video quickly. Thank you.